HelloFresh delivers fresh quality produce from the farm to your door in less than a week, so you can savor summer flavors all season long. Get 16 free meals plus three gifts with code unfiltered16 at hellofresh.com slash unfiltered16. Forehead doesn't look huge. Well, my forehead's out too, so it's okay. It's a, it's a forehead I'm really, I'm really letting it go today. I'm, I hope I don't regret it. So. I think you guys have great foreheads. They're, your foreheads only look weird the more I focus on them. They're <laughs> they're pretty grand. Well, good thing this is an hour and a half episode, so they have all the time in the world to look at our foreheads. Big foreheads don't freak me out. Big people, foreheads are short in. foreheads, though. People who have like no fo foreheads that freaks me out. <laughs> but you, you like, know what? Like I, I, I look at like some, there's times I look at Aaron Paul and I'm just like, okay, we're good, we're good, because oh he has a, he has a very large forehead, but it works on him. Who's yeah, that? Uh, Aaron, Aaron Paul, Paul from Breaking Bad. <laughs> It's like it's like seventy five percent of his head, and I hate to make fun of him because I love him, but he he and has a very big forehead. But like it it works. And he's successful. And he's successful. <laughs> yeah, he has it, a lot of money, and he's very talented. So maybe people maybe make that's why it works for exactly because we're because we're talented. We just like him. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, people like us and look past our forehead. Yeah. Has anybody ever like? Dissed you to your face about your forehead. Yeah, you get comments no. about it. Five head. Uh -uh. I've got it. No, you don't. Yep. When'd you get that? In elementary school. I feel like out here it was just like it's a thing because as soon as you bring it up, people are like, what? They, they 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 agree. <laughs> he. Most of the time, people aren't like, "What are you talking? You have a bit." No, it's always like. You can't even notice it. Turn to the side for I, me. I don't think you have a big forehead at all. I don't no, think so. No, yours is normal. No, yeah, yours is normal. And I'd be really surprised if somebody made fun of you for your head. I think it's this part I don't like. This at, is just, at least you is, don't have a receding fucking hairline. Why, right why are you laughing? Because the more I look at it, the more I'm just. Why don't seeing, you show your forehead? I'm seeing, show your forehead. I don't got a problem with my forehead. <laughs> as he covers it, I have no, no problem. I was, I was. <laughs> bringing back my hair to show you my forehead. You'd, I, you'd be surprised, like people that you would, you'll remember things that people point out to you in elementary school. Cause I yeah. remember oh. people pointing out my freckles and I was like, I can't wait to wear like makeup and cover them up. Yeah, freckles? Yeah. Where? All over my, my All under her face. makeup. Wait, I, ne <laughs> really? I, I never see it. I wear makeup. Let's, no, no I, you've worn no makeup around me You before. don't see my freckles? She's I don't got freckles. I have so many freckles like all over and now they're freaking trendy. But everyone's like, what's all that dirt? Why do you have dirt? <laughs> what? <on your> <laughs> <face>? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Put the dots back then. Get the, the get the fake freckles. <laughs> yeah, for I'm all surprised. that. Are, do uh, people ever get offended by fake freckles? On they spaces? should. I <laughs> I don't they get should. offended by fake freckles, but people who put on fake freckles, I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, I, I don't like, understand. I've never looked at someone with fake freckles like, oh my God, cute. Yeah, I love it's, it. It's like people putting on like a beauty mark, like a mole. Uh, like, yeah, I, why? I never oh, yeah. understood that. And that used to be really popular back then. I don't think they do it anymore, right? Like, be like beauty marks? Well, it would be like a Mon Monroe, the Monroe piercing because like that was sexy to have a, a, like a mole right yeah. here. So they would pierce it. A, a girl, in our, a girl in, our, <laughs> uh, in our high school, not in our high school, sorry. There was a girl I knew like in another city during high school. Uh -huh. She would put a dot at, uh, over here every single time she went out. And I was like, you know what? You if it that? makes you feel beautiful, go for it. How do I get, the, get rid of the beauty mark on my back? How about that? You have a beauty yeah. mark on your back? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Do you, wait, you have like a really weird mole? <laughs> no, no. Oh. I have like a I have like a mole on top of a birthmark and it looks insanely cute. Oh, it, it goes like. But it's not. It's just like a birthmark and then a mole on top of the birthmark. Does it have a hair coming through it? No, I don't think so. Oh, so it's kind of like a nipple. <laughs> Because a nipple, if you think about what a nipple is, it's pretty oh, much like I a have, freckle oh, with a. Oh, oh, my oh my God! What? Do you have fourteen nipples? <laughs> no, but one. I don't Matt, know. What? Show show off your psoriasis. Okay, Let the world it, see it. Uh, it's not. It's not a good day. I have bad days. I have good days. Today you can play connect the dots with Max Skin. Hey, Nor that's Nor funny though. I'd let you. I, I'd let you do it. It's it just it itchy. looks really itchy. That's that's. Really I'm itchy amazing. looking at it. Yeah. Well, you know. And what process? And would you say you get a lot of dandruff when you get uh, oh, psoriasis? Oh, dude, my scalp is bad, and I didn't realize it today until I was on You're the like plane, a and I was sit, I was out on my phone, and I was just scratching my head, and it just went all down. <laughs> dude, it was like oh god, a wintry wonderland. I, the amount of dandruff on my hair because dude, Christmas came early this year. <laughs> I have the psoriasis outbreak on my hair too. So, but you know what? Deal with it. Oh, oh, because Deal you're drying out up here too. What if people start drawing on psoriasis because Kim Kardashian had it? She had it. It's a new thing. Did oh it? yeah, she did have it because Matt was saying that he was trying to get. Right, oh yeah. Oh. oh my god, look at it landing on the phone. Walking in a winter <laughs> wonderland. <laughs> yeah, cover that. Yeah. Look at that. Disgust. Whoa. Hey. Oh, yeah. I, 
I agree. It's disgusting. Uh, now you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do. I, I start making lines with it. Like, <laughs> Matt, you just, Matt, you just go. Drop my face. <laughs> I can't. This is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I hate it. Dandruff right. happens to a lot of people. That's just, mm. Let's do get we, to the intro. Should we run the intro? Yeah. Run the intro. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> it's Comedy Talk, talk baby. baby. Woo! Yeah. Oh. Ooh. That, you better. You're supposed to use it as a mic. As a mic. I, I know it, it smells. I was going to break a toe. Welcome back to Zane and Heath. <laughs> I'm Heath. I'm Matt. Sp I'm Mariah. Speak into the microphone. And we're unfiltered. Welcome back. Uh, Hope you're having a lovely Monday and Tuesday. Why is your foot so wet? I was walking all day. We had so much shit going on today, Heath. You, we were together all day. My feet aren't wet. Well, I didn't change my socks as we were packing. Yikes. Yeah, we got a big flight coming up tomorrow. Yep. Oh boy, make it, make it, make it on time! <laughs> I like you guys when it gets to traveling. I'm like, I was having a meltdown today because it's, it's our first. Well, have we even told what we're doing? I don't next? know. I don't think so. I don't think we've ever talked about it. Mariah's like, <laughs> I'm not saying anything until we get there. <laughs> yeah, because I really don't want to jinx it. Happen. All right, well, we're going to Europe, baby. Woo! Woo! Finally getting the fuck out of here. Oh my God. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Yeah. And it kind of just happened on a whim. We yeah. like joked about it. We're like, no, let's do it. And it just happened within like the last couple weeks. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, we're finally going and we were realizing this is kind of our first vacation. Like, like vac that's, that has no work attached to it. Right. This isn't, is really, for, this isn't for discovery? No. no. Oh, this, this is, is just a vacation. No, just for fun. Oh. Yeah. Like we've, we've visited home. We've done like stuff like that. But our first just vacation. Yeah. So every, who, who's all going? Me, Heath, Todd, Natalie, Mariah, David. David. Oh, nice. That's mm -hmm. it. I That's thought it. more people. Like normally, Jason, Jonah, Susie. Normally it's like 30 of us, but we're keeping it small. Oh, that's making nice. Making it easier on travel. And, and I think nice we're able to. And it's nice because David, Natalie, and Todd have been to Europe and the three of us haven't. Okay. So they know all the spots and yeah. everything. Right. You so guys Natalie's can really fun. through. Yeah. And Natalie's really nice enough to like get everything set up, book everything, help the flights and everything. So. And where, where, yeah. where are we hitting? How, and how long is the trip? So, so, and we're, I say we're flying. We, as in y'all, not me. <laughs> so, where are we going? Uh, we're flying into Paris. We're going to be there for a few days and then going to Mykonos for like five days and then going to Italy for three days. My oh, dream nice. come true. We're Mariah's gonna, homeland. We're yeah. finally going. <laughs> Are you going to do Staten Island Mom in Italy? I want, I want to do Staten Island Mom at the airport. We got to take oh, a whole day for you to get that shit done. <laughs> like, we're going to be your crew, your production crew. You've yeah. never been to Italy? No. Whoa. <laughs> and she's oh Italian. God, I know. Yeah. I, I guess well, in my the, head I thought you had. The dream have... was to go with the family. But um, so I was so scared to tell them that I was going because I felt really bad. And they were just like, you can't pass up this opportunity, but we hate you. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> but it's good that you're going because when you do go with your family, you kind of know what to do. You'll be able spots. to show them the ropes. Yeah, it's I good that somebody goes. I don't think goes. I'm going with my <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, come on. That'd be so much fun. That'd be like Jersey Shore, no, on uh, Jersey Shore I, vacation. Do you know how expensive it is? Yeah, I know. It's super expensive. Yeah. Make sure to watch her TikToks, guys. She needs views to pay <laughs> yeah. for this trip. <laughs> she's going to take her creator fund from TikTok and spend it on the family for Italy. What airline are we taking? Uh, West, Jet. West Jet. We've never heard of it, but West Jet. West Jet. Yeah. yeah. And we've had. I've never heard of that um, either. No, nothing we, more of a nightmare. We we Jet. told some people they're like, oh, you're flying West Jet. Yeah. What apparently that, like, it's like spirit? it's apparently it's like the spirit of international flights. Oh. No. I mean, we were fine with it until all the shit that was happening because of our flights. So of what was going on? Oh, what, what's we, going we, on with the flights? <laughs> so we tried <laughs> booking a flight. Everybody got their flight, and I'm trying to book mine, and it just disappeared on me. Like it showed multiple seats still on it, but it disappeared. You couldn't find it on the internet, not on their website, not on like Expedia, nothing. We all did it at the same time. So we we're all paying for our flights separately because you know, not we didn't want to put everything on the car because we want so, we want points. Yeah, we want right. to gather points. But what sucks about it before Heath continues is that when you buy it all at the same time with different cards, they'll bump up the fucking price of everybody. So yeah. like if me and Heath buy a flight first and then Mariah's next, they'll bump hers up by like $2,000. Oh, and because it's like only fuck? so many seats left. Yeah. yeah. But mine didn't- Supply and demand. Stupid. Mine didn't go through and I'm having a panic attack because everybody's booked now. Oh, right so, there on the spot, you can't find yours even though you paid for it. This is No, I was later. in the middle of trying to do it and it didn't uh, go through. So then I keep trying and then it just disappears. Oh so no. So I call them and I'm like, hey, I'm trying to book this flight. It was available and now it just disappeared. All my friends just booked theirs. There's seats left. Uh, can I just call over the phone and do it with you? And they were like, oh, unfortunately, we can't do that. We can't access uh, your itinerary, your flight. Well, they were like, we we're, we can't book a flight for WestJet. 
Like we're not showing it. And I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, yeah, we can't go in and we, we don't see anything for WestJet. I'm like, am I talking to WestJet? <laughs> And they were like, yeah, this is WestJet. I'm like, what? then how the fuck? What are you like the actual airline, the customer service airline. And Keith was like, so how do you normally book it? They're like, we just go through another website. I'm like, red flag. Who's working here? It was so weird. Strange. Um, but Natalie was like, I got it to work on mine. So she, I was like, just book it real quick. It so was she weird. Books like it. different computers and devices were coming up with different seats. Yeah. Only for that airline because I don't know weird. why it was weird. And she got it to work on hers. I was like, just book it for me and like, I'll pay you back. So she's like, okay, booked it. You're good to go. She sent the itinerary and we're getting ready yesterday. Like, a day before we're about to leave. And I'm like, all right, so should we hit the road at like five in the morning? And they're like, why? And, like, and I was like, what the hell like, are you talking about? I was like, because our flight's at 8.50. What do you mean? We got to go early. And they're like, our flight's at 12.50. Oh, no. I'm like, what are you talking about? And we pulled it up and we have different flights. <laughs> I'm not on their me flight. And Mariah, me and Mariah looked at each other. We're like, he's fucked. <laughs> See you when you get there. <laughs> wait, but wait, you mean... PM or AM? AM. So you would have just gotten there before them by a few hours? Right. right. That's no but, fun. Yeah. But this is her if first, I didn't, this is her first vacation If hero. I didn't check my itinerary, oh. I would have just he would have been in the car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He would have just went with us. But we're getting there, hopefully. But you're um, able to switch it, right? I did end up getting it Thank switched. Thank goodness. Oh, God. Because that would have been awkward. Me and Mariah, what the hell are we going to do? <laughs> how, many, how many hours is it? We go to Canada first? I think it's three yeah, hours we, to Canada and then nine to Paris. We fly into Calgary, so anybody from Calgary will what see you there do? for like a few hours, and then we're out there. <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to Paris. You know That's going to be fun. I'm going I'm to really Paris and... August, but all right, let you guys us gotta let moment. me know. You gotta let Jeez. me know where to go. I've never been to Paris. Oh, really? We send them to the fucking shitholes. Yeah, <laughs> I've been to yeah, yeah, go here. You'll, you'll have a you great trip. I thought you've definitely been to Paris. I've been to, I've been to France twice and never been to Paris. Was Paris somewhere you really wanted to go to, Mariah? Yeah, like yeah. Europe in general is just such a dream. I can't imagine standing there and seeing it. It doesn't yeah. feel real. It yet. doesn't feel like a real place. Like I want to see the, I I like the history of it. Well, so the I'm thing like, is I want to do audio tours. I want to put on <laughs> a yeah. cassette yeah. and walk around for three hours and learn about I some really shit. I'm going to play. Here's the thing. We're a small group and we are there for like a week and a half. So we have so much time. I so I, I, I don't think it's going to be like that. They also for said days they got a lot a done in like one day. Cause it's so, I didn't realize how small it was. They were yeah, like, we hopped from, around into so many different cities in just one day that they yeah. ran out of stuff to do. Yeah. So it's nice. It, we'll it'll be, be really we'll fun. be busy. Yeah. And I'm really excited for Mykonos too. Just like all those, like just all those buildings and everyone's yeah. on this, on the water like that. Just it's every so sick. Google picture ever. Oh, we're really excited and, and we're going to and we're going to be doing a podcast out there. Oh, yeah. Our first international podcast. Oh, that'll be cool. Oh, that'll be Sorry, cool. Matt. <laughs> Have fun, guys. That Matt will not be there for, but we'll probably get what somebody that's with us. We'll Skype you. Yeah, yeah, have a guest. I don't mind. Y'all have fun. I just hope oh. you guys, I hope it all goes smoothly because <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't wait for the stories when it comes back. I will be so surprised if this whole trip was just a breeze. Yeah, there's, there's no <laughs> Where way. Where's your passport right now? Zane. It's next to my suitcase. Where's your suitcase? Where's my suitcase? <laughs> Where's suitcase? My no, suitcase. No, 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 no. Everything is actually like going really smoothly. So far. So far. Oh, I just want y'all to be safe, okay? And and normally I have meltdowns when I have no clothes to bring, but we did a lot of shopping. Ethan and yeah. I did shopping today and we got a lot of clothes. We did so a good I, job. I brought a good amount of clothes. <laughs> and I, I'm pretty sure it overpacked. So I'm gonna have like oh, six extra things to wear. I'm really good. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, well, okay. What? Well, well, no, no, okay. Fine. I saw a lady uh, get hit by a car the other day. What? With her dog. <gasps> it was pretty traumatic. Wait, how, how fast was the car going? Not that fast. Okay. But the entire thing was really interesting to watch, like go down. I've never seen anything like it. So I'm sitting at a red light and I'm on my way home and they're coming from this side. And all of a sudden, I see the lady and the dog just go boom and just like get hit, <laughs> lifted off the ground and then hit the ground. I'm like, oh, oh my God, no. oh my God. And then she like starts stumbling, like trying to get up and she's like, hold, she has two dogs. She's got like a big like Doberman pincher looking dog uh -huh. and then like a little rat thing. And then hey, the, the dog just got hit by a car. You don't need to call a little rat. Well, that one was safe. The oh. little guy was okay. Oh, okay. The other one got guy. hit. <laughs> um, but then the guy gets out of his car and He's laughing. No way. And I'm watching and I'm like, oh my God, this is so bizarre. 
So then she like grabs her dogs and she like starts limping over to the sidewalk. And then all of a sudden he gets a leash from one of them. And then he's walking the little dog and she's walking the big dog and they go sit in the grass. And then he's like sitting there with the dog on the leash. And then he gives the leash back and then starts walking to his car. And I'm looking at him and he's just like this. Like he's got this like smirk, like, like this weird look on his face. I'm like, what? you just fucking hit a, like an old lady. And a dog. Maybe they know each other. Yeah, was this like a... <laughs> yeah, maybe this... Maybe they, I think this they know each other. Inside that's, joke? That's yeah. not a very playful joke. It was like... I think it's an inside job. Maybe it was, you're on that show, what would you do? And, and I, you and didn't oh my do anything. Thing. You did nothing. Well, he got out to help. If if he would have taken off and she was stuck in the road, I would have got out and helped. I don't know. I don't know. I think she could have used an extra pair of hands. What would what would I have done? I get out, everything okay? I would have ran and for then, my life. I would have picked her up. I would have saved her. I would have been like, you better wipe that smirk off your face, sir, Mister. ma'am. Are you all right? <laughs> I can't believe you. You think this is funny? You go straight Sit to down. the dogs. Yeah, right. Straight to the dogs. Um, but she seemed okay, and then the dog was okay. He was just like, I think just a little bit shaken up. Mm. Um, but it was very... Uh, Intense for me for a minute. Well, that's it's all about me. Wow. <laughs> yeah, are you good? Are you yeah, okay? I'm okay. okay I'm okay. Good. Um, that wasn't the only accident that happened uh, last week. You pee pee cockied your pants? Yeah. <laughs> Almost. Pretty much. I was So I was on my way to the doctor's office. <laughs> I was on my way to the doctor's office because my anxiety has been getting really bad lately, right? Uh -huh. Just really bad. And I- So you, um, you went I to the driving. doctor's office because I was you driving. thought you- had, Wait. Why were you going to the doctor's office? For his anxiety. For anxiety. Oh, uh, but I thought, but I thought your anxiety was getting so bad where you thought you had cancer, and then you were going back to the no, doctor because no, the, the no. anxiety had convinced no, you. No, you know you cancer. You know this. You Matt, know this. Oh, yes, I know. Listening. No, but I know just I'm saying, and to, I know how his mind works. I'm, I'm trying. To, I'm yeah. So I'm trying to fix. I'm trying like, over I'm, here. I'm trying to figure out whatever. And so I was having. I was having a very stressful day on, on my way to the doctor's office because I was just scared of what was gonna happen because I really wanna figure this out. So it like stresses me out every day. So I'm driving and I'm already really stressed out already. And like, I don't know what happens, <laughs> but I black out and I'm just, I turn to the next thing and I just hit somebody. What? I just crash into them. I did not do That's this on purpose. That's why I drove you here? Because no, 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 oh. no, my car's not at the shop because of that. My car was actually getting wrapped. Uh, because, because, <laughs> because it's damaged. <laughs> Because he never wants to be seen again. Like, no, that's that guy. No, my car and his car were completely fine. Like, we went to the side. He was really sweet. We were both okay. Thank God. And um, and we both had just had scruff. Like, it was easy. Like, nobody had, like, any dents or anything. It was, thank God. And then uh. <laughs> we pulled out to the side. He gets out. And um, we exchanged info. And um, we end up, like, being okay. And, uh, <laughs> but I, re I remember getting back in my car and I'm, I, I continue my drive to the doctor's office and I just start crying. <laughs> you start crying? Because I'm like, bro, this, it, cause I was just, I was like having a meltdown before that happened. So <laughs> I had a meltdown, oh, I hit the guy. Like the last thing And like, I, yeah. I think I was just so flustered because I like, I just inconvenienced the shit out of somebody else's day by hitting their fucking truck. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I got to the doctor's office like 20 minutes later. And I'm just like, hey, I'm so sorry. Um, I was got to a car accident. She's like, oh my God, are you okay? She's like, okay, <laughs> what are you in for? All right, we'll get you in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. And then I came to the doctor's office and the doctor comes in and I'm fine at this point, right? I'm fine. Honestly, like I was thrilled that everybody, like everything was okay and everybody was okay. And I'm in the doctor's office and he comes in and he's like, um, hey, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm good. He's like, are you? Let's try that again. Sure. I'm guessing, I'm guessing oh, we're going like around the whole office. We need to take care of him now. Yeah, he had a little bump bump on the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's man. just bad timing. Yeah, really bad timing. But um, we tried to get the footage from, you know how Tesla's oh, the, record? The yeah. And he didn't, he didn't have apparently, the uh, camera on. You're supposed, to, you're supposed to manually turn it on. I get, there's a setting in it. You have to like enable it and it was off. And you've right. never done that. I, I I thought it was already on. Like I thought it was already recording because most people okay. aren't going to like. Here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. This accident happened because you're supposed to have your cameras on for something that might happen in the future. What if someone tries to break into your car and your cameras are now on? 
everything happens for a reason. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, you would never put your. You would never for know a time you, you have, really needed yeah. it. Yeah. So maybe in the future you're, you're going to need mm. those cameras on. You know what? There's, that's why that accident happened. And that's why he was so nice about it. And that's why God right. um sent Chris. That was his name, I think. Chris. That's why he sent him early out from his house that day because. He needed to get hit. Exactly. Yeah. It's and like he was the, fine. And he was he was cool. It's the worst when like that moment of just when you're driving oh. and just I've never gotten hit, into an running, accident. You've never like not, uh, not a car never. accident yet? It hasn't happened to me in years. Yeah. But like, uh, just like your whole world stops. Yeah. For that moment. You're just like, shit. I get I think I get mostly afraid of who who the, who's in that driver's seat. Like we, that they're I gonna have hit, like a freak out. First I'm like, okay, we're both driving still good. And in my head I'm like is this person gonna freak the fuck yeah. out on me? Especially because I nowadays, can't do people right now. just try to get, they try to dramat, what is it, mm -hmm. what's the word I'm looking for? Dramaticize. Dramaticize. But what's the word for it though? Yeah, like there's another Over -exaggerate word. Over exaggerate. Over exaggerate. To like get a more, yeah, yeah. Like they I was, they're like, my, my, car, my back. My car yeah. could be total, then I'd be like, it's totally fine. Exactly, me too. I would never, you can't even, even tell. Like, don't worry about it. Like, even if it was hurting. I, will, I won't tell a soul. Because you have to, because you're, you empathize that situation, yeah. because that could be you, right? Running into somebody. Right. Right. Uh, right. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, Noom. Unlike other restrictive diets or workout programs, Noom Weight uses psychology to empower you with the practical knowledge and skills you need to build smarter, more sustainable long term habits and behaviors. Their psychology approach is based on scientifically proven principles like cognitive behavioral therapy, which helps people better understand their relationship with food and why they eat the way they do. Exactly. Noom doesn't believe in restricting what you can or can't eat. Instead, Noom gives you the knowledge and wisdom you need to make informed choices that not only fit your lifestyle, but also help you reach your goals. And always remember, an off day is totally okay and won't set you off course. And Noom is going to be right there to gently guide you back on track. Yeah, you're the boss. You decide how Noom weight fits into your life, not the other way around. 5, 10, or 15 minutes a day. How much time you want to spend on the app is up to you. And it helps people stick with their health journey. More than 60% of users lose 5% or more body weight by 16 weeks. And more than 60% of users engaged with the program keep the weight off for a year or more. Yeah, Noom is actually amazing since, since Keith and I are on our fitness journey right now. We are using Noom to pretty much balance out what we're eating every day. So like we're, you don't have to cut out all the bad things in your life, but you're right. able to introduce it into your life in a way where, you know, you can bounce it out. Right. It's, uh, it's understanding that, you know, uh, there's no such thing as, you know, something that is bad for you. Yes. If you do something in excess, but it helps you have a better relationship and control with the, you know, the food that you're putting in your body. And even better, Noom actually helps me manage my stress and energy levels too, which is really good. So if you want to start building better habits for a healthier long-term result, all you got to do is sign up for your trial at Noom.com slash unfiltered. Again, that's N-O-O-M.com slash unfiltered. Thank you so much, Noom, for sponsoring this episode, helping us keep on our health journey yep. and everybody listening. Thank you. The, uh, the new Audis... Have you seen what they have for red lights? No. So basically, the Audi technology is linked to all of the traffic lights. So when you're driving and you come up to a traffic light and it's red, it'll have a countdown for when it's going to turn green. So it would be like five, four. No oh. way. It counts down and then it goes green. And it's the coolest thing. I've never seen that before. And they also have a feature where it tells you if you want to hit every single green light and never get caught, what speed to be at. It'll be Whoa. like it'll be like to hit all green lights on this route, travel at 35 miles an hour, and it, you'll be perfect. That's insane. Wait, how? But what if the traffic? Does, how does Audi have access to that? Like, I don't know. I don't know, like what deal they made. Boots. But it's really sick. That's insane. That's like that movie with Lindsay Lohan when she hits all those green lights, where she's just like, like Herbie fully loaded. <laughs> no, no, <what's laughs> that, that, that good luck movie where she has like bad luck or like she has good oh, luck. Oh, just my luck. Just, just my, my luck. luck. Yeah. yeah. Um, here uh, all the green lights. Are, that just reminded me of that. I'll, I'll show you it real quick, but I've um, never just seen so you just can see my it. Luck. Exactly when the traffic light will turn green. Check it out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Green, there you go. Wow. So, he's talking, goes, boom! Zane, Zane, Zane. <laughs> like, he See, goes, look. what's great is all the safety features. And <laughs> I thought you were going to say that it detects the red light and it keeps the car from going. 
Like oh, it'll no. lock it there oh. until it turns green. Oh no no no! It, it just it which it, is also it knows a great exactly. Idea. I feel like that's that's a matter of time before that shit happens. Wait no, that'd be yeah. really bad. You need to move. Like what? Yeah, if, just in emergency, just in case. you'd have to move. Oh yeah. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I, Get out of the way! I I can't. It's an Audi. <laughs> it's like Wally. Get Remember out of my way, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Have you guys heard about this app called Be Real? Yeah. Yes. Everyone's been like, Todd, are you Todd, on it? No, Todd's on it every day though. He does, he actually hits every post. I, 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 first so explain, I heard to, about explain it. to listeners what Be Real is. And, me, and to me. Okay, okay so it's this app that everybody joins and there's no numbers of followers. There's no um, numbers of likes, comments, but you can oh, comment. It'll get there. Um, but <laughs> no, one, and then, and then you'll start shopping on it. Yeah. But <laughs> at one time, of the day, every day, you never know when it's going to right, you be. Love this. You get a notification and you have to post your be real. And the first thing it does is take a picture of what you're looking at and then it takes a picture of you on the selfie cam. Does that make sense? No. So everyone just shared. <laughs> So everyone's do, sharing do one, what do one. I can't because it's, you it's have only to get the when it tells so you. So at the same time around the, the whole world, right? Everybody in the world, it's time to post. Everybody posts right now. So you have to take a selfie and then a picture on the other side, like, like the other only, camera. Like the, my first one was when Patricia and I were walking. Then the, the next day we were in Central what Park. What time? We never know. It's, it's did going, you do one today already? When I was on the airplane. Oh man. So top member. Once uh, a day? Yeah, once a day. It's like at any, or wait, is it at a set time every day or no, is it it's, random? it's random. Random. But it's it's very Black Mirror. There's I like some, it. Like just something about it feels very Black Mirror to me. Like you don't know when it's going to be. And then as soon as they send out the notification, you got to do it. Because in order to see everybody else's, you have to post your be real in that specific moment. Oh. Yeah. I think or else you, you can't see what other people posted until you post yours. Yeah. Like if if you if they're gonna be real, you gotta be real. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Whoa. Be real. And what like it, it's oh, it's supposed to on. capture you in the moment wherever you are, what you're doing. So it's like your realist. I think it's cool that in that moment when you do it, you scroll through and everybody is, is on it. Is like it is exactly there what you're seeing when you and, scroll through. And I love um. There's like, no I think editing cool. or anything. I, no. So like you can react to like. I thought you uh, would like that. You can react to someone's I post. I can't tell. I'm trying to explain something. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, you can react to somebody's post. I love this. So, wait, oh no, shit. see now you're no, 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 look at this. Look at this, and then we can just go like, and then you send that. I don't know what you. That was the one. like I just sent an emoji to like comment. I don't do emojis. God damn it! I'm just trying to explain it. I know. I'm just. I'm, just, I'm like really lame. <laughs> Sorry. How do you not? How do you not get it? No, I do get it, but you should have seen what he just did on his phone. Oh, he was nervous, like he was like shaking, and the whole <laughs> thing like just went like this. I don't know what he did. <laughs> it wasn't like he just clicked an emoji. He was sliding and zooming. Got it. I think it's a good idea, but something that doesn't seem like it would last. Something's it's like yeah, a fad. It's, it's a fad. Yeah, but I yeah. think right now, in looking at the social. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why Bro, are you high? Are you, are you good, dude? I'm just making myself laugh today. <laughs> look at it. He's got the high. munchies. He's oh got my. the munchies. You, I'm not high. Matt, you looking never, at that. We're not, ever, ever <laughs> snack looking, on the podcast. We're not Matt, doing look, the high episode. Look you in the eye. Drink soda are you, are you on I'm marijuana? I'm not high. He, I'm not high. You are like, high. What is so funny? Because we're doing the high episode after this, and I think he thought that we're doing the high episode now, so he decided to smoke. Why would I get high before doing a high episode? Because you forgot that we're doing a regular overachiever. Don't look at me. I'm with them. Looking at the social media latest. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was laughing about was me just saying the phrase. Looking at our current social media landscape, I just do think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? This kid's stoned out of his mind. Yeah, he's fucking I'm not Hey, dude, and you know that's edibles too. He fucking yeah. What was edibles? They're exactly. They're kicking in. I do feel a little high. <laughs> What's in them? Pepper and cheese. Are you just having flashbacks to Chuck E. Cheese's and it's getting you giddy? <laughs> what you, you? You went to New York, right? I had the fruit leather. <laughs> Wait, no, you didn't. Oh, I love those. Is there weed in the fruit leather? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not. I just no. said I love those. <laughs> Whoops. I'm just in a good mood. So. Did you would, all know in the parent trap? <laughs> nah. So I do, I do get, I do get it. I get how it would be cool, but it's just, I, not that it's not for me. I just, I, it's too much. Yeah. Like I'm set with, I TikTok, Instagram, I'm good. Yeah. I don't I, do Twitter anymore. I don't do Facebook. I don't do Snapchat. Yeah. Like it's, it's too much. Too many I, I platforms. Think, I yeah, think it's many. a cool app. I would never waste my time to do it. 
I'm, I'm really happy See, why that is it okay for waste you to say that? But well, you just got to say it. Like, <laughs> No, because if I said oh, that's going to waste my time, you guys would be like, you're close-minded. No, but you have you have to say something positive right after. So you say, oh, I would never use oh, that. Oh, this app, but app sucks. I totally get what you But I'm really it. glad oh, that. Oh, you 30-year-old men. I think, I think it's, I, I'm glad that people around the world internationally are enjoying this app. And they're, yeah, they, I, I think th they're all connected in a part. way. My yeah. favorite part is the unity. I love when, you see guys I love when things bring people together I really do like when everyone's on the same page about something and it's the coolest feeling there you I go love you it. saved yourself yeah. there you go no I'm serious no that's good no <laughs> she's been she's been PR training oh my god I'm, I'm having a panic Mariah attack. getting a whole PR team that's funny that's about a, a fucking app <laughs> <laughs> it's not, like it's the most least controversial thing. Uh, Be Real's gonna be like, we gotta get Mariah on that oh app. Oh my gosh. She's like, our biggest challenge. Mariah, on your phone, do any of your like apps you like updated the icon for? Excuse me? Like on your phone, like certain updated apps, the, like you know, like you can make them like a widget and like change. No, what? I've never changed it. Oh, okay. But I have like widgets. Okay. Do you mean like uh, you like uh, some people who like are just so big into their aesthetic and they'll make all the no. icons on their phone like all no kind of, like, because magic. then I can't see w what everything is. Oh, like, can I, I see I, what you're I, talking about? Mine looks like this. Oh, okay, okay. Like uh, you know, mine, what I'm talking mine, about like all of their apps will be like under this yeah. same it's type of design. Like, oh yeah, yeah. It's almost like jailbreaking it. Like it'll be all, yeah. all one color. Yeah. You can have like all your apps be black. Or, oh, you can. Yeah. But oh, I, you I, see, my, I keep it old school, baby. Yeah. Sometimes like, if I'm on Adderall, I'm like, let's make that happen today, <laughs> and then I'm like, I can't do it, and I give no. up. But um, you know what I do have? I have a folder that is uh, says it's called shit I don't use. Mm. That's the only folder I have where I put um, everything. My in folder. There. My folder is called ugly. For the it, ones it's the apps like. that you, you put can't, all yourselves in. There. It's the apps that you can't delete <laughs> that come with the phone. Right? Good thing she Sorry, what were you saying? No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I missed it. I wish I. It's. I'm no, like, what were Literally, I'm not important. <laughs> Please, like I know. Right, I, I, you I, are important. Let's direct oh the entire episode. Right? Forever. Did you see? Our, did you see our last episode without you? It tanked. It, People hated it because you weren't here. <laughs> Because you weren't here. You are so important. You can't do this without you. Unfiltered queen. I'm gonna leave. Please don't ever fucking leave. <laughs> you know, I was at this club last night. You know who I saw there? Who? I forgot their names. Oh, all right. But no, oh, thank you guys for watching another episode. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Oh, which one? The Will's brother. Are they old enough to be in a club? <laughs> Will's brother. Yeah, like the one, who, like Natalie something, and the, the, the ones who are dating in real life. Oh. But their brother and sister on the show? No, they're not. No, one is is it's eleven, not is one. Finn Wolfhart's sister. God damn it! You know who I'm talking about the one who was dating Joe Carey. Who's Joe this Carey? So it, it, you know who I'm fucking talking about? The Stranger Things people. It's 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 the group of kids, and then the two older dudes on the show. The 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 weird looking Natalie one. Natalie Dyer and Charlie Heaton. Charlie Heaton is the one with the with the um this this, this couple. Oh, him, yes, yes. So yes. I'm at this like cool little uh, dance spot in, in New York City. We got a booth and we're just like jamming out and like I'm going back and forth and having drinks. Usually I got my eyes peeled. I can spot famous people. Yeah. I already like saw this couple and was like, oh, they're just like a normal couple, but I didn't look at them like deep in the mm -hmm. eyes. And I'm getting my beer and I go, excuse me. And he's like, all right, no problem, man. And I was like, oh shit, it was them. They chilled. They were pretty nice to us. They danced with us like all night. Awesome. During a pandemic. <laughs> all day. Y'all are going to Europe tomorrow. Unbelievable. Was that, that kind of cool? Disgusting. That, oh, it was stupid. No, 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 it was no, just, no, it was fun. I thought it was stupid. No, we, I think, no, I think. <laughs> <laughs> It's cool because Stranger Things is trending right now. It's like very trendy. Everybody's yes. talking about Stranger Things. So. You don't have to. I know. I'm literally kidding. Okay, so Stranger Things is a show on Netflix. I'm gonna have a. <laughs> I feel this is my brain 24/7 though. Like what this sounds like is how I think. <laughs> um, I think right. I, I, stop. I, I, think I need to take a bathroom. Can we get a little goofy? I think I'm tired. I think that's why. You know what? I am tired. I'm overly exhausted. Zane, I go, I, I only had four hours of sleep. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I only had two hours of sleep. <laughs> what is this, a fucking mukbang? Yeah, why are you, you know, people this can hear weird. the fucking chips. He's being so weird. He said that he said that he had like Let's a lot of over. sleep. It's almost like 10 in the morning for him right now. So he's like really energetic. <laughs> <laughs> he's really energetic. Let's start over. He's not on I any I slept drug. on the plane and then I came home and I slept more. <laughs> 
you're munching. You have a, a Coke Zero. Don't touch my Coke Zero. <laughs> what you man? <laughs> Would you ever join a Top Gun Academy, Heath? Uh, I'd like to go to flight school, but I wouldn't do like Top Gun Academy. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't need to be that intense with it. I'd like to tool around in the air. You uh, know, like a little Cessna. Yes. But fighter jet no not really my speed i just want to experience some g-force i want to like go in one of those things that like to see how, the how simulator. many units i can i don't need it's to do so that. crazy watching people they get <laughs> they look so old they transform in front of like the camera and then they just pass out that's insane it's pretty cool did you watch top gun no i haven't seen the new one yet what mm, that's I know. so what? good have you did you see the first one yet oh no i didn't see the first one I still really enjoyed the second one. Okay. It was really good. The second one is much better than the first really? one. Really? Yes. Hey, let's talk about what what you when you guys are in Europe. <laughs> we're not there. Well, we're not there yet. I mean, anything could happen. So what's Europe we, like? We have, we, have, ah! we, have, we have a couple things planned for Europe, but like nothing to talk about. Like I think we have to get there first and then we can really indulge in the whole experience. I'm just excited to take cool pictures there. I'm gonna be honest. Honestly, same. Yeah. Yeah. I really want to take pictures in the Amalfi Coast. Just like, oh, I just oh. want to be there. Oh yeah. I just want to I just want to soak it all in. I'll kiss the ground. Soak I don't it. care. Soak it in. You're gonna learn a little uh, French or a little Italian? Wait, wait. wait. Oui, oui. Zane, you might meet a nice old uh, French girl. You Matt, I was know. literally thinking about that last week. I was like, what if I meet my wife out there? Zane's going to go to the Trevi yes, Fountain. Your luck. Like, just like Lizzie McGuire, you're going to toss the coin back <laughs> and then your whole fucking. Like, Sing to me, Paolo. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like, do you think everybody's going to be out there or is it still like a normal city and like people oh, are in and out? Everybody's going to be out there. Everybody and their mothers is going to Europe everyone's the same week we are. A lot of people are traveling. And everyone's studying abroad. Dude, you will get recognized like crazy in Italy, at least well, when I went there. Oh, okay. Well, that was people go. <laughs> <laughs> Zane's like, yes. <laughs> well, I know that's what you mean by like young people and going out and like yeah, having but a that, good time. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking about people being out there? <laughs> that's Just not like, what is it? it that's not yeah. what I meant. Like, is it like Times Square? Busy? Are there? Like, do you think, do you think it's going to be pop? Yeah, you'll get recognized. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I kind of saw that. With, that was like you were implying. You were like, I, I know, but like. We don't need to say that. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all are in Italy, Matt, fine, Matt, Zane. Public, we don't need to say that. We can say that behind the cameras. It's like something we say behind the cameras, not public. Jared, good. Because it's not like relatable. I, it's not relatable to the people like listening. You'd be people would be like, you know, you know what I mean. It's like it, it's yeah, not like it's a, weird. It's weird. It's to a hear. weird thing. Okay. It's like a weird thing. Well, um, I, yeah, I Matt. think it will be a very sociable scene. <laughs> What? I want to kick my feet up. Kick it up. Just relax. It's, it's, a, it's a chill podcast this episode. Yeah, Matt's Matt's eating everything. <laughs> okay, guys. By the way, we, we do nice poor audio we do people. unwind episodes um on our Patreon where we post like the 15 minutes after our episodes. Yeah, every, this is what We're an it. unwind this is what video. Like. <laughs> this is what an unwind video. We are in it. We Matt. are in it right now, so we hope you're enjoying it <laughs> because I am. I'm having a lot of fun. Honestly, this is the first time where I feel the like cameras aren't on. Yeah, that's I'm true. I'm not going to lie. It feels, it feels like us just hanging out. I felt that way until you said that. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> There's cameras in here? Oh, fuck. Now, now, now it's recording. Fuck. Are you a are you a binocular guy? I, oh, that's so weird you brought that up. Well, when I like go to like beach houses or like lake houses, any place with just a good can, view, I first thing I always ask. When can I house, ask you why? I think binoculars are the weirdest. Why are you calling them binoculars? Binoc binoculars. Binoc binoculars. Binoc it's binoculars. It's not like binoculars, well, but binoculars. It, it I just bi have never heard anybody two. pronounce it like binoc that. Yeah, that, binoculars. that is weird. Binoculars. Wait, binoculars. It, binoculars. You guys say binoculars? It is binoculars. Yeah. Binoculars sounds crazy to me. No, it's binoculars. binoculars. Binoculars sounds painful. Yeah, you got a pair of binoculars? You sound yeah, like a professor so being like, if we look at this pair of binoculars here, <laughs> like it's just binoculars. Yeah, binoculars. Yeah, like bicycle. You're, well, you're not saying. A, you're, no, you're, you're not saying bicycles with a Y. Bifocals. Yours sounds like it has a like a speed, binocular. A speed bump in it. Bi, bi is the binocular. Okay, I just yeah. think they're the weirdest things. I think people who use binoculars are like weird. Like I think it's creepy. Dad, cover your ears. I completely disagree. I like when that we, in telescopes. 
I don't think it makes. Uh, but I don't. Think I like spying on. I like spying on people. Exactly. If there are boats going by, I like to see what that group looks like on the boat and That's, what type of dynamic and energy yeah, they have. Yeah, I think it's okay. cool that like it just enhances what you can already see. Like you, like my eyes can see even further. I don't know. I, I, don't know. I, I never can really see through binoculars. <laughs> like what, if I they zoom in, no, there's like, a. I don't know. I'm dead out. Dead out. No, I know what you can no, focus, you think, but like, I can really not see what the hell is happening. Like, like what your, I know, like one of your eyelids like will go. <laughs> down yeah. and you're just like oh, yeah. I can't. it like really doesn't work you're, for me. you're stuck opening <laughs> you're flexing them uh, um, but okay so why why binoculars over like a camera um because you can really see the people and what they look like on a binocular versus just like this mashed up resolution of and a zoomed your, in picture eyes, like for yeah. instance we it's were it. at cody co's uh like uh beach house and we got there and we didn't know where like the group was cause we didn't have a uh, cell phone signal. And so I looked down the beach cause I can't tell who these people are. And I just pick up the binoculars and I was able to go, oh, they're down there on that side of the beach. Yeah. If I couldn't, I couldn't zoom in on my phone. Oh, are you high? Is Mariah high? <laughs> But that's a, it's not a damn oh, telescope, oh, Mariah. Oh, no, with a petri dish. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this. Yes. <laughs> a microscope. <laughs> hey, hey, Mariah, <laughs> Mariah, <laughs> Mariah, Mariah, go. Yes. Um, you're gonna want to come see this, <laughs> Mariah. You're gonna want to see this, <laughs> <laughs> Mariah, Mariah. Mariah. <laughs> Wait, the water drop. <laughs> 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 it's like a beach. Mariah, act like you just like made it. I know, and then you you go. You go. You go. <laughs> 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 no, Matt, and then there, and this then can't be. No, Matt, Matt, it's like, it's like, it's like this. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Um, yeah, at the lab. Get me. Matt, no, Matt, 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 Matt. I got, it, I got. It. <laughs> she goes. <laughs> and then the last scene, transfer me to the, over to the White House. <laughs> I need to speak to the president. I, put me onto the CDC now. Ugh. Oh my See, God. Yeah, I like it. Straight out of a pandemic movie. But yeah, I think binoculars are really weird. Binoculars. I think I'm secondhand high for Matt. It's not like, it's not a random time that we're filming tonight, right? I think we're overly stressed and anxious. And I think that's. Yes. I'm really stressed and anxious. Yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm just winding down from. Were you partying every day in New York? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How was it? Dude, it's the best that their bars are open till four in the morning. That's crazy to me. It is a huge difference. And just the subsystem, how it's like everything's a possibility in a way. Yeah. Like where you're gonna go for the night. Like it's always just this big operation from in being in LA. Like, are we going to the West Side or like, oh yeah. gosh, it's like gonna cost you 60, 70 bucks just so to go you're there. You're saying New York is just easy. You could get like just anywhere yeah, quick. I, most of the time, yeah. It's pretty great. And there's just so many little nooks and crannies and other places to go yeah. that like the bar scene is just endless of all these different spots you can go versus out here. I feel like we're just creatures of habit. It is. It, go it's to the same, same thing. Do you like that? It's like open till four out there. I do when I'm fucked up at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I guess. But there's like pros and cons for it being closed at 2 a.m. here. It's like almost like. It's re it's more responsible that we have to like get home at like one thirty two. Because imagine like, what the city would be like if it was t until four uh, here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it'd be, I feel like it'd, it'd be, be wild. Yeah, it would be a because people would be really. I mean, it, like now if it got switched, that'd be yeah. Bad. But it wasn't it. Oh, it wasn't didn't it used to be like that? And then they had. I think to, a long time ago it was. <clears throat> it was I wonder later. why they had to cut it back. Probably the only thing I don't like if you want to close bars and like businesses can't stay open past two, at least be able to buy alcohol at a grocery store or a liquor right. store. Right? Yeah. That that is kind of frustrating. I don't know you can't you keep just, the party going. You know. Yeah. That's but, the I mean, worst is when you're at a bar and it's already two a.m. and then they're like, "Let's go to the after party," and then you can't go and buy beer yeah. or alcohol. So it's just like it's just dry. But I feel like most after parties already have that alcohol there now. Yeah. Or you sometimes. just want to like go back to your house and kick it or something. You yeah. know. There's yeah. just been circumstances. I think we're pretty lucky to where we have like a yeah. good amount at our house, but like 
I just remember times being stressed about that. Yeah, it would, and I feel like it'd be fun too to like have to stop at a gas station before going to the fucking going back to the after party. Is it because tomorrow. of the stock market? Because the market opens <laughs> at uh, four I think out here, and if it was open till four. Just people wouldn't be able to get home to go day trade. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very select few to make the entire population. Yeah. I thought it has something to do with the market why the West Coast isn't open till four. Oh no. I think it's just a safety thing because yeah. nothing good is happening after two o'clock in the morning. That's true. But it's it's also nice because if you are able to go out until four, like in Florida, we would go out at midnight. Yeah. And at one. I remember one AM would be the time. Like, all right, let's go out. Go the Can I have a late dinner. But that that yeah. it's so bad because if they're open till four, you're staying till four. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a good thing. That also, it's New York when I was there, <clears throat> it may have just been me and what I saw. I felt it was the cleanest and safest I'd ever been there. Really? Yeah, it's really dirty out there. And really it was. I mean, besides Times Square, it was pretty like Ugh, get me out of here. It was so nice, and like the I don't know, the police were just on like subs all the time. I felt like I don't know, really safe. I, I was never like scared. Ever. Well, on the, I think something really bad just happened on it uh, in a subway. Like, a, oh, you're you know, right. That's why, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That did happen. Oh, that lady. Oh, yeah. I don't right. know. I, yeah, it was. I was felt pretty safe. I gotta just go gotta out say. to New York soon. Hidaya's out there. She's been out there for a year. Oh my god. Visited her. It's yeah. really bad. I did not hit up Hidaya. Well, then again, you know what? I was only there for a couple hours. I'm sorry I didn't hit up a die. Oh, yeah. You should have hit her up. She would have went out with you guys. Got people I got to see. <laughs> <laughs> just don't have time for that. Hedaya, was it your priority? Out. I'm just not going to Brooklyn to see Hedaya. Well, she'd come to you. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, BetterHelp. Life can be overwhelming, and many people are burned mm -hmm. out without even knowing it. Symptoms could include lack of motivation, feeling helpless or trapped, detachment, fatigue, and more. And we associate burnout with work, but that's not the only cause. Any of the roles in our life can lead us to feel burned out. And BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Exactly. Talking with somebody can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. I know I have a lot of stress in my life right now. And it feels so good to talk to somebody and vent and open up that's, you know, not in your friend group. Exactly. I I talk to Heath way too much about my stress and I feel like he's just so annoyed to listen to about it now. So it's it's nice to like just to be able to go to somebody that's not biased. Exactly. And you get to talk to them from the comfort of your own home, which I think is the best. That's right. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anybody on camera if you don't want to. And it's so much more affordable than in-person therapy. And you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. So quit sitting in waiting rooms. They're cold. They're uncomfortable. Mm, no you got don't got to see that, anybody in person. Just do it from the comfort of your own home. Right now, listeners can get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath. That's better com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you, BetterHelp. We love you. Thank you for taking care of us, baby. And our minds and our brains. Mm-hmm. And our heads. Oh, did you guys? Did you guys see? Uh, Kid Leroy, Kid Leroy brought out the Wiggles at his uh, <laughs> I did. concert. Like legit, like actual the Wiggles. Really? And brought they played up. a song. They yeah. still got a lot of energy. Those. Wiggles. Yeah, I, I thought I thought like half of them were dead, but they're all still alive well, and well. No, they're not. Too, they're not that. They're old. <laughs> I was gonna say they're not that dead. <laughs> Kid Leroy. What is he? What is he saying? Um. Oh, I'll be fucked up if, if you let me right here. I got the same thing. I told that I never would. I love that song. It's really good. I feel like he's I'll like he just kind of. I feel like he's a plant. He just out of nowhere. He, he popped huh? off out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, but that's really cool. Like he brought them out. I bet he was probably a big fan of the Wiggles when he was a little boy. And uh, he's Australian, <laughs> and they are Australian. So oh, it's okay. kind of a perfect match that they would do that. They're Australian. They sing fruit salad. Yummy, Who do you yummy. think sang fruit salad? I don't Three know. Three six mafia. <laughs> I, I <d> <laughs> <laughs> fruit salad. I, yummy, yummy. I just didn't know that was the Wiggles. Like genuinely did not know fruit that was salad. The I, yummy, yummy. I, I thought it was like a TikTok Wiggles. sound. I don't know a lot of the Wiggles. Wiggles got big when I was like. I think I was a little too old for yeah. them. I think so too. I, I don't yeah. know any of their songs. <laughs> That looks ridiculous. <laughs> That's pretty cool yeah, that he did that. Like I bet he little. hit that target audience though. Everybody watching yeah. his probably performance probably watched the Wiggles. Yeah. That's great. Wow. Oh my, bring out Teletubbies. I'd go to that shit. So when I saw the caption in my head, the first thing that came up was Teletubbies. So I thought it was Teletubbies. Oh, and then funny. I saw humans. I was I, like, well, oh, no, no. They're it's... the same color. Yeah. What's uh? Did you see that thing recently came out, uh, out about the Teletubby son? Where the, the, the baby? baby that was the baby. Yes. 
uh, now has a baby. One of the Teletubbies got had a kid, and the kid no the, no, son. the son that was a baby. You know, it's a baby's face in the sun. Something yeah. something about like has a baby Her, now. The, the baby in the sun. She's all grown up, and I guess she has a kid. Yeah, yeah I guess it's just the the lady has a. Uh, Tinky winky. Oh, so, look, her daughter looks just like her. The son. <laughs> no, it's very confusing that we're saying son, what? but her. Yeah, why is the- She's on. <laughs> the, the, it's me, Jess Smith, on the girl. <laughs> you may know my face from Teletubbies. Um, <laughs> it was pretty wild. It's a pretty cool thing to have. It's like, oh yeah, you know the member of the baby's face uh, on the son? That was me. <laughs> That's probably the only thing. <laughs> Teletubbies. I think Tinky me, Winky I think Dipsy. Dinky Meme is so cool. Lala. Like, the, uh, like those like really viral memes. Like remember when we met that kid, the bad luck Brian? Yeah. That was so cool. Like being able to meet that guy in, at VidCon. Uh, I freaked out when I met the uh, chocolate rain guy. Chocolate yeah. rain. I think that's so cool to have that like uh, attached to you. I don't think I've met a meme. I don't. I, I was wanna... a meme once. Were you? You got memed? Yeah. Remember me in the B costume running away oh, from, yes. from Bellingham? That became a very big <laughs> meme. And like in in uh, South America. So, in South America. <laughs> so is it is it in a different language? A different language. And there's all these different. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, because millions, it was, millions of it millions. was the, the murder hornet or some shit, right? That was another one, yeah. But it was like from that picture, so That's they would so take that funny. picture. There was like well, it was like the like there was like a queen bee, like a lady in a bee outfit, like in a, she looked like holy, and then it went to me, me running away. <laughs> <laughs> costume. Uh, I love that. Oh, one of my fine moments. I was fucking heavy that time too, so I was a big, big bumblebee. Just a nice ripe bee. Just a nice ripe. You said ripe bee? Yeah. I had a lot of honey in my ass. What? I said <laughs> I got whole a lot of honey, honey in, in my, my ass. ass. Whole bag of jelly beans <laughs> up my, my ass. ass. <laughs> that, what a video. <laughs> was it was it a serious video? Like was she actually I shoved a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. Like, do you think she actually did that? <laughs> do you think that one girl really had barbecue sauce on her titties? Yes. She's like, there I am, barbecue sauce <laughs> over. <laughs> Yeah, I genuinely believe that was like a real story. I love the video of that one woman where she's like getting interviewed by the news and she's like, I know the vacuum cleaner man. He's seen my tits. She's <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> like the like, detail. Like, I, I'm just saying that because I wouldn't lie to you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> what do you call someone like that? Um, just. Oh, no filter or like. Well, that's what? not no filter. That's more like. Oversharing. Over, yeah, oversharing, I guess. We met a girl like that. <laughs> Another night at the bar. Would you meet a crazy girl? <laughs> she she stuck nut. her tongue down Zane's ear. <gasps> not did in a you, good way. Did you like it? No, I did not like it at all. How, how did it get to that point? Hey, I, how's it going? I'm Zane. Nice to meet you. What? She, she, that quick. I, like, stuck it. Did she hold your face and then insert she the was, tongue? She was or? very drunk and she wouldn't, like, stop touching me. And she wouldn't stop touching me. And I was not interested in her. And I didn't know her either. So it was just, you know, double. And she wouldn't stop. And she was just like, ha, you're cute. And then she sticks her entire tongue in my ear. By the way, I don't think, like, I think she's gross already, right? And she sticks her whole tongue in my ear. And I fucking just scream. <gasps> and I yell. I've never yelled at anybody. Oh, like, my god! I was just like, can you fucking stop? Yeah. And then, and then she goes, <laughs> you're cute. <laughs> you're like, cute when you're angry. <laughs> oh, a similar thing like that happened yeah. to me in New York. <laughs> 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 I love no, it's good. It's good. Matt, I love that you're able to do it and that makes me laugh. <laughs> I'm gonna need another diet, Dr. And Pepper. So I'm there, I'm out on the dance floor. This girl grabs my hand and I'm like, um, hello. And then she goes, and then she brings me into her. And then I'm trying to walk away from her and she won't let go of my hand. And I go, I have a girlfriend. And then she throws my hand back at me and then pushes me. What? What? And then one of the girls, uh, Hillary, that we were with, saw the whole thing happen. Was like, uh, uh, absolutely not. And was just like, was just this girl was just. What being, was wrong with her? She was just pissed that I wasn't interested in her. Oh my god! She was just trying to hold my hand, and I'm like, get away from me! I have a girlfriend. And then she just snapped at me. Oh my god! <laughs> <What happened? clears throat> Matt. That's what happened. Did she, did she look older? Like, what, what was wrong with oh, her? She smelt bad. <laughs> <laughs> she did. I don't know, dude, she stank. But I was just like, get off of me. Well, good, good thing you're being loyal to your girlfriend. Absolutely. <laughs> well, yes, I will hold your hand and go on a walk. I'm sweating, but then my entire seat's drenched. It's leather. Oh, is that what leather does? 
Yeah. Is that why I'm sweating so much all the time? We always have leather seats. Our last seats were leather too, right? I like leather, but, but it also keeps you cool. Like sometimes leather is like cold. You I know? hate leather couches though. Sitting on a leather couch on a hot summer oh, day yeah. and it's just like... I don't like you're just like your leg is like on it. You're give me off like, of like, this. I mean, Paul, you're like sleeping on because I I love to sleep on couches. Oh yeah, if your cheek is on like a leather couch, it's just it. like. Ugh. Do you call them it. couches or sofas? Couch. Both couch. I say. Both. I feel like rich people call them sofas. There's a difference between Wait, a couch and a sofa. Yeah, genuinely, what's the difference between a? Sofa I don't and a know. Couch? There has to be a difference. Because we're both like very unless oh, sofa. A like sofa a, in my head, I think of like the Simpsons, like sit on a sofa. <laughs> to me, a sofa sounds really elegant, like a beautiful sofa. Well, sofa to me, I think I feel like it's another language. <laughs> I don't know. Sofas to me do, seem do like you know what I mean. You know how like um, what's a word that everybody uses in the American language that's like not English, but it's something else. But people just all now use the word vase. Does that make sense? Yeah, sofas are sofas are more formal and have prominent backs and armrests. Sofas are for sitting. On the other hand, couches are less formal and are more used for lying. All right, so the Simpsons on. have a couch. So my 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 cloud is. A <laughs> I think Here's that's a cloud sofa. couch. No, that's a cloud couch. Oh, because yeah. it's couch. made for like like laying lounging. on. Yeah, right. sofas like more for the Deco uh, decorative, like the living room kind of a, a situation. Got it. Okay, <sighs> that makes sense. Your leather, your leather couch or sofa in your ha in in the living room. What is that? I I would say couch. But like then, then you have like a nice tufted sofa. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Like that's a sofa. Oh my god, that was literally our couch in the first season. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> what a funny image. <laughs> sofa couch versus. <laughs> oh, it, it really is like the Simpsons couch. It's like that shape. Cool. That was groundbreaking. <laughs> I love. Now you guys know the difference between a go couch and a sofa. You're welcome. I got. I I had like living room and the den wrong in my head for the longest time of my life. In my in my head, a den the den was um it has to be a fluffy carpet. What? <laughs> <laughs> it has to be like a like a really fluffy shag rug. Like a shag rug. Yeah, that's in my head was the den. Okay. Like when somebody well, has a den. Do you know house. what the difference between a den and a living room is? A den is like bonus space outside of the living room. Like a bonus. Where where it's you wouldn't be like there all day. It's like a an area to go to like for for, for fun, I guess. It's, right? It's smaller. And it, which it's, room has the TV? The den or the living room? The den is supposed to. My den had the TV. The living room didn't have a TV. Correct. So that's it. But, I thought yeah. that the living room was the area with the TV that you spent most of your living in. Like the living in your house and the den right. is the like the formal room where you just go sit and have tea and conversation, like the front room of your house that nobody goes into. Oh, and yeah. that's I had that I had that in my head the entire time and I never realized that the den is where like, you go and watch TV. At uh my my Porter Ranch house. Like you walk in and the living room was like the nice kind of like loungy hangout area, yeah. and then the den was the one that I had. And that, like and the that, comfy couch and the TV on the, the podcast. Yes, was. that's the day. Yeah. Right. I know. I had Got it switched. So now when there, when you see a house and you see a living room and a family room. And now it's, yeah, what's a family room? So what's a family room? There's a formal living room and a living room. And the formal living room formal is Formal living family. room is don't sit in there unless it's holidays or, or it. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like kids aren't allowed in there. And then the living room is destroy it. Go ahead. You would know oh. you're Italian. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't I have one. <laughs> I, I, we just go to a lot of open houses. <laughs> <laughs> we see a lot of houses, a lot of family reunions. Big fan of HGTV. <laughs> <laughs> what was something you'd always watch on your TV as a kid when like Christmas time hit? Jingle all the way. Oh yeah. Like, so, like not even movies. I mean like more like. Like um, Hallmark? Yeah. Like what, what, what channels like are you watching? Oh, something terrible. Tacky kind of yeah, like yeah ABC Family okay yeah because yeah. that just be endless Christmas movies yeah yeah or Fox Family I feel like I you would have an watch all the like time twenty the twenty four days of Christmas on Fox Family oh yeah would play yeah, nonstop yeah. Christmas yeah. shit every day for twenty and they would do the thirty one days of Halloween yes. too oh yeah yeah yeah. 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 My, yeah my grandparents would have they love Hallmark so we'd have that on and we'd yeah. also have um. Uh, ABC family. And then they have the parade on. Oh man, times were good. Macy's Day Thanksgiving parade? Or something, yeah, one of those yeah. parades. Speaking of parades and balloons and stuff, my head is going, It did you know uh, in Paris, doing balloons is a thing? Like what do you mean putting doing nitrous, balloons? like doing whippets, but- I don't know, we were talking to somebody uh, last night and he was like, oh yeah, you go to these bars or this like place and like everybody just does balloons. I was like, does balloons. 99 red balloons. And I was like, I don't get it. And he was like, yeah, everybody just like 
Helium? Oh, so they're doing Inhales. whippets. Yeah, they, it's like whippets pretty much. They put nitrous. They'll, there's a huge tank of nitrous, and they're go, basically filling up the balloons, and they'll sell you like a balloon for like five bucks a pop, and yeah. then you just have this whole balloon you carry around and hit whippets. Do you know what whippets are? Yeah. Yeah, so I, I think it, that's you're able to just like sell it through balloons. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty wild. A lot of people out here do it. Uh huh. Whippets. We do not do whippets. Like that while I'm no, out there. Mariah, you would love Just whippets. Once. Oh, you, no. one little whippet. I should, do like, <laughs> like, I should do like a cigarette or like, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. yeah. I cigarette won't, with but espresso. I really should. I, I think, I yeah. think it'd work on you. Guys, sure. comment if you think Mariah should smoke uh, a yeah. cigarette. <laughs> What do you want Mariah to do next episode? Whippets or cigarettes? Yeah, I want to do something. <laughs> she just hits something rock fun. bottom. Like, we're like, hey, life's short. I stay. She, she comes back a different person. <laughs> just like. <laughs> she's like, can we take a break? I need to do a cigarette. But, but she has, oh, sorry. In Italy, we call it this. <laughs> what do they call it? I say like cups or something. like. Oh. <laughs> Um, she does the long ones that like the plastic holder. And oh the yeah, like Corella Deville. I don't get it. <laughs> like Corella Deville, she'll have like the long, like the, the cigarette holder. Were those the, because they didn't want it to get finger on their, to smell? Your fingers to smell. It made a little bit of distance. You still smell. No shit. It, really, that's what it was. I thought it was just fancy shit. I didn't think it actually meant something. That's really smart. Keep it further away from you so the smoke's not like. I'm oh. surprised that they don't. A lot of people do, like don't use that. <laughs> I think you just look ridiculous if you do. I know because but like, you're already smoking you're already smoking a cigarette like back then it I know, was but your fingers really stank though when you smoke <laughs> a cigarette you know what i mean <laughs> yeah i guess i wish it was normal to still smoke cigarettes indoors like yeah. that that is not a thing like people were people were smoking in the living room know, watching dude, tv so, or the den it'd be watching so TV. Stank. <laughs> just sitting on the couch just like it blows my mind i cannot believe it but like no, I mean I'm glad it's not like that anymore. It'd be stankish shit like everywhere. Imagine know, but then you sometimes I the love wall, the walls get that film on yeah. it. Yeah, but, oh. but do you ever like walk in somewhere and it kind of smells like cigarettes? And you're like kind, I, kind of cozy, cozy. Like, or like a casino I when you love, walk in. I there's love a the little smell lavender of a and like yeah. the uh, if it's clean, the cigarettes in the air, and Ooh. then it smells like yeah. It's, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's like a little a bit of an edge. Like when you get in your uncle's car and you smell little cigarettes in the like, car. That's, no, cigar. That's like I Cigars. like the smell of cigar because it smells like my uncle's. Yeah. A little, you know, snalgia. Smell, smell. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. I just missed a couple of letters. <laughs> <laughs> He's just real or, real or fake? Click all the bridges. <laughs> oh, we were just like Click all the crosswalks. No, we were we were having fun with this AI oh, generator. This Have is, you been on it? Uh, no. no, I think you can't play it yet. It, no, you can type in whatever you want and okay. it AI generates. So we okay. were doing random shit early. What's, okay, what, so what, what is, say, this? Say, what is this? But look up a pancake hot tub. Hold on, explain what I we're see. doing. So, okay, Zane, yeah, can we explain what we're doing? So basically, oh. so bad. it's an AI oh, generator. And basically you can type in a word or a phrase or something and it has its own technology to basically create an image based off of what you tell it. And it pulls from images all over and jumbles stuff up to make Insane. what you're looking for. Which, I, I, this terrifies me so much because yes. for graphic designers, illustrators, all of these people whose jobs are to create these images yeah. are now those jobs and that skill will become obsolete because you can just type it in and the image will make it. it so th this image actually exists? No, or? no, no, no. It's, it's made. So if you type in horses skateboarding, it's 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 pulling images from all over the web and making horses skateboarding. In the like right there, like when you click, yes. so you click enter, and then it just it's it's so weird. Look, how's how's it doing? Go, go to the you, other ones. Can we, we did, type? Jordan? Can we type? It's just pancake hot tub. I want to see a pancake in, in a hot tub. Oh, oh. it takes Go, a while. Do it, and then we'll look at the other ones. How long does it take? Like 30 minutes? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> There's somebody back there just... <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Is that how you spell hot tub? Okay, fuck it. No. Oh, oh great. It auto-corrected. It auto <laughs> now people are saying they're making pancakes hotter. I want to see <laughs> either a, a hot tub in the shape of a pancake. Oh, fuck it all. All right. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do it, um, but we'll look at the other ones that we made. So we searched... Uh, Porsche and barbecue and and, and 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 look and sure enough all of these images of Porsches with barbecue grills show up yeah go what in the world it's making these images like that's crazy is somebody like doing this like no. a human do it it's so it's just it's like artificial it, intelligence well, it like kind of makes sense I think I know how they're doing it like okay so images can I think now be scanned and they can sense the 
where, where the subject of the photo is and what type of plane and surface it's, it's on. Okay. You can understand that? Yeah. Like you can see that this, you're looking at it yeah. from this vantage point and then they can understand it and impose that on a, photo, a photograph of a Porsche at that exact same angle and put the grill right on top of it. So it's and just then all about blending images. It, it basically has to go through and like match up all these things and figures out what two images interlay on top of each other at the right angles. And Got then it. make it happen. Does that make sense? Yeah. I, guess, I mean, I guess that's fun. That's It's just bananas that we... And then we did like gorillas golfing. It was, it's crazy what it... It's crazy what we're doing. Like, did you see like the new um, iPhone update? You can, um, you press on an image or you, you have a picture on your phone and you press the image and it literally crops yes. the subject. Yeah. That is insane to me. It's, that's crazy that you just press a button. Because that shit used to take forever it would take, back in the day. It takes forever to, to cut that crop out. Like even on a computer, you'd be, you'd be on a $10,000 computer and it'll take you at least... A minute to do that. Yeah, it wow. is pretty With wild. A touch of a finger. I just don't understand how it's doing it. Like on a random picture, I take a picture of you, and then it does it. How okay. does how do you do how does that happen? What do you use that for? N not nothing crazy, but I think they just have it because it's easier to trans. Like, I take a picture of you, and I don't want anything in the background, so I just it it literally <laughs> crops you immediately as soon as I press it, and then I could put it into a text message bubble, and then it sends like a emoji. Jordan, can you search haunted hibachi? <laughs> I just want to see how a hibachi is made haunted. Oh, we know exactly what we're going to see. <laughs> like, it's either going to be like, like a pumpkin. Is there going to be like a ghost coming out of the seat? I just want to look at a haunted hibachi. That's funny. Too much traffic. Uh, oh, it's too busy right now because everyone's probably fucking on this website. Well, yeah, because we just promoted it and everybody's... And we're live. <laughs> we're live? Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, wait. That's just pancakes. Dude, because you put pancake hotter the first time. Remember? Oh. So I was like, yeah, I think it, I think it got fucked just up. Sexy pancakes. <laughs> sexy pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know the Eminem, you know the Eminem emoji where it's just like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the big one. I feel like it's just gonna sexy, do that on a pancake. Sexy pancake. That's a good like password. <laughs> like that is. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's but the one Mark, that your Wi-Fi comes with. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sexy sex pancake. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Pancake hot tub. Ew. What is the bottom Ew. right? Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? That is so weird. I don't like that. Gorilla's golf. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Get out of the town. It's so funny. I think about a gorilla that focused. Look at that. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, haunted hibachi, come on. <laughs> this this will come soon. Oh Whoa. my god. Sexy pancake. <laughs> yeah, that does sound like a password. You know, there's like passwords like oh brave snake. Yeah, and, yeah. oh uh, it's like the Wi-Fi password. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sexy. Brave, brave snake. <laughs> Is that a cape? <laughs> sexy pancake. Are you can you imagine your guy installs at your Wi-Fi and go, yeah, so what's the password? Um you got sexy pancake. Sixty nine. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> Put, uh, put Hardy Spider. Hardy Spider. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, like I'm having trap gas and like I'm having appendicitis right now. Oh, now we're good. Do you ever have that like did you sharp? Just, did you just let it out? You just fart? No, I think I trapped gas, meaning like, have you ever like had like a sharp pain in your stomach? Yeah. yeah. Where you're like, this is it. Yeah. I wonder if anybody's li listening has ever gotten appendicitis. Well, My dad. Really? Mm-hmm. My mom. My dad is like really. Wait, oh my god! Hold on, I real it was quick. Really rare. We got haunted hibachi. Where are the ghosts? It's kind of terrifying. Where are the ghosts? I. I. It, they just look. It just. Oh, it's, it's just. It's just it's generating ha something. It's just haunted, not ghosts. It I, does. It gives like a scary vibe, though. Like you need Halloween hibachi. No, it's like it's, <laughs> Halloween hibachi. It's like in it. It's like in the movie It, where they go to the Chinese yeah. restaurant. And the shit yeah. starts happening. Man, I, I I genuinely thought that we were gonna see a ghost coming out of a hibachi oh, smoke. That. <laughs> Instead of like the onion volcano, yeah. it's like a mummy. <laughs> I would love to like commission like a children's book, like like an old school like chapter book of like the Bailey school kids being like the the case of the haunted Abachi. Oh, and I, the kids are like, or the next Junie B. Jones. Um, uh, Jordan, that? I got one. Yeah. Mummy latte. Mummy. Oh, that's a good one. I wish it was quicker. It takes like it takes like what? Oh, like okay. A While this is loading, yeah, okay. my dad is uh he's really really good with pain. He doesn't go to the hospital. He doesn't go to doctors he for anything. Sucks it up. Yeah, like he's gotten really really injured and just just takes care of it himself. 
uh, but he started getting like pain and he like brushed it off and then it just kept getting worse. How and, old is he? How long? Ago? Uh, this was when he was probably 48. Okay. Um, and it just got worse and worse. So he slept on it. <gasps> he woke up the next day and he was like, okay, something's seriously wrong. I need to go to the doctor. So he goes and they checked him out and they're like, so weird. We don't know what it is. Uh, we didn't see anything wrong. So he was like, okay, I guess I'm just I'm fine. I just need to rest it off. So he goes home and still is thinking like it's, it's nothing's going on. And then I think it was one more day. He was like, no, something is like, he was like, could yeah. barely move. The How most many days is this now? I think he waited two days. Oof. Damn. Was he able to pass bowel movements? I don't know, but he finally went back and they realized his appendix uh, had ruptured. Oh, it, 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 you're ruptured. usually not supposed to like go more than like a few hours. Yeah, with the it ruptures. can kill you because it's the poison toxins, inside of you. That's crazy. But he's also like a massive dude. He's six. That would get that would, that would take a while pounds. to get through. Uh, so I think that helped. Uh, but basically, he went there and then he realized it had ruptured. They go and do like surgery, and they're like, "You were pushing it. Like it was not good that he waited that long." But the first How time the they said it was. Not, yeah. I don't know. They fucking suck. But get this: uh, <laughs> when they're doing uh, his surgery for his appendix, they accidentally nicked his kidney with one of the knives. Oh, no. And then they sewed him back up, and they didn't know. Oh. So Wait, he, what do you mean they didn't know? They didn't say anything. So th No, like they did it, and they didn't say anything. They just sewed it back up without telling him. No, they Is didn't that... sew his kidney. They sewed him back up with a, like a... Oh, oh, shit. It, like a couple... I think it was like a couple months go by, and he's like, something's not right. He couldn't like... He was having trouble like digesting food. Yeah. And he goes to get it checked out, and his... Kidney had shrunk and shriveled up into a raisin. So oh he, my. So they were like, what the fuck happened? And they realized that uh, when he got his appendix out, they hit that and did it and then sewed him back up and then it died inside of him. So your dad only has one kidney? Yeah. Was he able to get like compensated for that? Yeah, like, dude, I, dude they, that's a lawsuit right there. That's fucking nuts. They, they were gonna fight it, I guess, but then... Uh, I guess time had passed and there was no like proof or whatever. I don't know, uh, but he's pissed. Now he can't eat red meat. Oh my God. Oh, he can't have steak. Yeah, you're not supposed to eat red meat when you only have one kidney. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, mommy oh, latte. Oh, oh, oh yes. That's great. That's kind of cute. That is. Oh, we should have known. We should do that for Kremota, like for like a Halloween collection. Like yeah, the mommy latte. The <laughs> <laughs> it looks cute. And then, oh, oh. oh. Halloween hibachi. It is that's still Oh nasty. my god, all the carrots. <laughs> the being more <laughs> the you just make merch doing this, man. Yeah, this is like good merch ideas. Like just like whatever you're thinking, just put it together. That is a good idea. <laughs> put, put in Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis? Yeah, but something something with that. Um do taco <laughs> binoculars. Taco binoculars. <laughs> Do binocular psoriasis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to see what it brings up for psoriasis. That binoculars. That's so weird. So we still got to do the high episode after this, right? Yeah, and then I still got to fucking pack. And then packing high is going to suck. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be like, where am I going? Do we have to do it? Are you really that like done with me? <laughs> Drew must be high because I didn't say a thing about it's you. <laughs> Are you guys genuinely disappointed with this episode? No. No. Oh, okay. Seems like Mariah's disappointed with me. Yeah. No. Matt's just hamming it up now. You, well, you know, I always think about like the editing and yeah. what these audio people are hearing. Like I, I'm not here in the podcast. I am behind the screen seeing and hearing what other other people are seeing and hearing. It's a I lot. I haven't done anything it's visually. Not, She's not talking no, not about you. Matt. I literally am not even looking at you. I haven't done anything visually. <laughs> now I have a problem. <laughs> no, I don't fucking See, like you. See, it's funny. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, bad, bad. <laughs> Dude, back scratcher possession. Uh. <laughs> Drag me to hell. God. Do Shirley Temple office. <laughs> how, how are we still podcasting? Just a surprise. Um, we're at what one thirty two. 137. No, no, I'm talking about the number episode we're on. It'll be 133. 133. Baby, we are 
doing the damn thing. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> <laughs> forever to get to 200 <laughs> right we, we are doing the damn thing and that and that is <laughs> and what is this said thing don't want cigars like what the <laughs> you guys please be safe when you travel yes okay we will Promise we're gonna me. watch out for pickpocketers <clears throat> yes and watch out for scammers don't scammers. think every little person's made you this little friendship bracelet for you yeah no, i think we're i think we'll be good we, we live in matt, la you're we the want... one wearing friendship bracelets yeah. <laughs> matt i feel like you would be the one to stop matt got and, like, there's actually... always gonna be that guy who's like hey hey uh i don't know never mind no i think we're, we like... live in la too like we walk by people yeah. like that all the time okay i think it's like the Tours, tours that like are scammed. not used to that. Don't get scammed. Don't, get don't lose We've anything. We've been scammed way too many times. We have an eye for it now. Patricia got, I think, a little scam though. She never mind. I don't want it. No, was say it. Good? She Is bought it? like a counterfeit purse, but like I think she'll hate but that. Paid, like, I'm paid the. Oh well, she like we were going through Chinatown and like she had this purse that she wanted, this Dior purse that she like had her eye on. It's like usually like a six thousand dollar purse. Right. She had the image. And they really crack down on like the uh -huh. counterfeits and stuff. You can only trust the people on the street who have like basically this big binder filled with all the purses. Yeah. She showed the picture, goes, this is it. She goes, come with us, sweet old lady. And she's, and obviously I'm thinking this purse is, I, I say knock $10 off of it, whatever they're gonna try to sell you. And cause I'm thinking it's gonna be really cheap. It comes out, she's like, all right, $165. But she's like, okay, can you do 155? And in my head, I'm like, she thought she, hold on, she thought she was getting a six thousand dollar purse for a hundred bucks. I thought you would at least. I thought still, it's not worth even one hundred sixty dollars. Oh, the fake purse. I thought Patricia was getting a, like a mock of the purse, so she doesn't have to like spend all that money. Just get a purse that kind of looks. No, like it's it, a, I think it's, it's a fake. It's a fake purse. She knew it was fake. Yes, but she spent one hundred sixty dollars on the fake purse, and I'm like, you could have charged him at least a hundred and just been like, uh, like not one hundred and sixty, but go, let's do a hundred or eighty dollars. It's still a good. It's still a good price to get a bag that looks like a real. I know, but you could still haggle with those people. I wish I like told her to go, no, a hundred. Oh, Cause like, if you walk away and they've already brought it out, they're not gonna go and take it back yeah, up into that can, building. You see, like, like if I, if I was, if I was Patricia, I, I wouldn't even, uh, I wouldn't even go. Like I just. Oh, she, oh, she bought it and it was all fine or whatever. I was, gonna, I, like, I was if, like, if, I bet if, you could have got that a little cheaper, but I feel bad talking about it. Cause I don't want people thinking like. People about, buy about knockoffs all the time. Talking about I Patricia will. having like a fake bag. Who cares? Okay, fuck it. I bought fake Gucci before. You seem like you own you a bought, lot of You bought fake Gucci? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Of course. Fake you buy Gucci. fake stuff a lot, oh, so Mariah? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where did you get fake Gucci? I, I respect what? Where'd you get fake Gucci? My dad, when we went to Chinatown when I was a kid, it got me a Von Dutch hat, a fake Von Dutch hat. And I thought I was the fucking shit with my <laughs> fake Von Wait, Dutch hat. how much are Von Dutch hats? I bet they were like $130, $40 at what? the FDP. What? For a hat? For, wait, wait, not, no, not... The fake ones are probably like ten bucks uh, in China. No, but a real Von Dutch hat is a hundred and forty dollars at their peak. Yeah. Wow. Really? Like just a cap? Like the Von every Dutch cap? every celebrity was rocking Von, Von Dutch. Dutch. It was like for... the Ed Hardy, right? Yeah. I just didn't. Was... I didn't know it was like that high. I thought end. it'd be like eighty dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, eighty, yeah, probably eighty dollars is still 80. a lot, but I, it, dude, they were expensive. But I remember <clears> just going back and being like, <laughs> Von Dutch. Whoa! I didn't know that. That's crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't buy. Um, fake things that have the name on it and they're fake, I'll buy dupes. So like there is a Dior saddle bag that everybody buys, but it's oh, like- Patricia has that one. Yeah, think, yeah, like it's crazy expensive and it has like the D on it. I went on Amazon, found one for 25 bucks. That's identical, but there's no D. So it's not like, oh, it yeah, doesn't this look, Everyone knows it's not Dior, but it has this, like, I'm just looking Same for that shape. style. Yeah. Yeah, what well, makes shape. designer, the only difference is that is the tag. If it looks exactly the same as the real thing, there's no need to spend I feel like it's anymore. getting even more and more like, okay to have like a fake bag. It's yeah. almost a flex. Like, where'd you find yeah, that? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, Especially, yeah, girls, you, they're, they talk about it all the time. Like, yeah. this is fake. I well, mean, that's why that's why Gucci, um, they made <clears throat> real Gucci based off of the fake Gucci that people were making. Oh, Wait, yes. really? Yeah, so people started <clears throat> making fake Gucci and it was G-U-C-C-Y. Uh, okay. And then everybody started wearing that and it was like a hot thing to be wearing like clearly the fake, fake Gucci. Gucci. Then Gucci went and made real Gucci With spelled y. like that. With a Y. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, that's so, Jordan. Jordan, so look, that, look that up real quick. Just, <clears throat> um, Damn. But yeah, so they basically just copied the fake stuff to I make that. I love that. that. Yeah, they're, that's they're, 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 they're funny. Like they're just having fun with it. They don't give a fuck. Like yeah. they're like, yeah, do your, 
Do your thing. Oh, okay, yeah. That's, oh, I kind of like that. That's really cool. That's really cool. You know what I think of when I'm shopping now? Haunted Well, actually, I've, I've always done it, but I think you do this just because I know how you are. But every, even the smallest <laughs> Matt's purchase. Matt's offended by everything. <laughs> <that> <laughs> no, every purchase that I make, the first, they don't even exist. The first person in my mind is, is my kid gonna want this? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'll, it would make or break a situation if I'm like, is this a piece of clothing that I'm gonna put in a bin in the attic and eventually Pass when they're down. teenagers, Whoa. they'll take the bin down. I think about that. So like a if lot I of that, like that. home furnishings and things like that, yeah. I always think about like, will this piece, so, is it timeless and is it not too trendy? Right. And also- So when I'm getting like, if, if I do like my YSL bag, like yeah. that, when I laid eyes on it, I pictured my future daughter like wanting to like wear it. So if I do end up buying something designed or something else, like a bag or something, I'm gonna be thinking of what is timeless. Buy it for life. That's yeah. nice. There's a great, like there's that. a great subreddit on Reddit called Buy It For Life, and it's when people like have just owned a certain product and they've had forever, and it's just yeah. been perfect. It's never broken on them. It's just been great. Yeah, I, I, I think it's nice to pass things down. Like watches are so yeah. nice. Yeah. Ev like they are so well, priceless. They're priceless. Yeah. Well, one thing I was gonna say about the whole like fake stuff. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be nothing. There isn't there's there's no value to it. If I if I if you buy a real Rolex, it's gonna appreciate in value. You're gonna make money off of it. Right. You buy a fake Rolex for three hundred bucks, it's it's literally worth nothing. Right. You know what I mean? And you're I mean you're only getting it to show off that you have a right. But I would I would rather I would yeah, rather exactly. spend more money on something and it's gonna appreciate <clears throat> in value than just be a complete. Because God forbid something happens in your life, you'd be like, all right, I'll just sell this. Sell like this watch. Yeah. 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 yeah when and times yeah, get we, tough. we understand that not everyone can afford, you know what I mean? Like right. it sounds a little, um, what's the word people always use? Ignorant. Tone deaf. Yeah. Right. But it's true. Like yeah. real and, and it things. Actually, and it, and it actually, um, it generates. Uh, yeah. Like my Christmas village stuff is worth so much <laughs> no, it actually fucking money. Them. And it actually it is. But I mean, people, my Hansberg one is. People are going to pay for big. it. If you have a rare one, people <laughs> I have one that's it. worth like half a thousand dollars that I bought for like a hundred. That's 100. great. That's, that's like- Who says half a thousand? Yeah, that was strange. What the fuck I, was that? <laughs> <laughs> what? Half what? a thousand dollars. It's worth like Why did you say a half a thousand? Because I wanted to dazzle you with a thousand. Half a thousand. <laughs> half a thousand dollars. Half a million, half a million is very. That's a thinker. Half a million, in half in the Christmas village world, it's, yeah. uh, it's <laughs> a top dollar prize. <laughs> How much does your whole Christmas village cost? About I half a Actually, half a hundred dollar bill. It's none of your business. I bet it's ten k. No. Seven. Three, four. Three no, four. it's not. Still, that's still crazy. Yeah. No way. I think oh, it's I'm more. Sitting it's on, big. I'm sitting on three or four off of spending probably. But he's thousand. he's also he's also searching for the cheapest like. Well, cheapest. yeah, I I wheel and deal. Yeah. I need to actually get a lot of it off my hands. So. I don't know. Someone's lucky day. Look out for my lucky eBay buyer. listings. Because it, actually, it's like right now, it's getting good season to start buying. <laughs> <laughs> Something else. Well, I'm going to be y'all. Uh, He's going through multiple persons. It's like multiple personalities. We've seen like three different characters today. Yeah. I love it. All right. Uh, okay. All right. He's over it though. So let's let. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 end this. I think it's time. We have we 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 need to sleep. Yeah. Because we have Even to the wake up. I need the to pack. TV just slept. Look at yeah. it. Oh, Which, honestly, by the time you guys are listening to this podcast, we're going to be in Europe. <laughs> wait, wait, which hotels are you staying at? Let the people know. <laughs> uh, check the carpets. Yeah. <laughs> we want to be Ariana Grande. We want to walk out. I'm going to be in Mexico, y'all. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You let us know how that goes. I go to Isla M Mujeres, the okay. island of women. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thank you You're so much. <laughs> thank you so much for bringing your binoculars. Uh. All right, guys. <clears throat> Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, make sure to check out Cremota Coffee, Cremota.com. Get your K cups, your bag coffee. We've got four different flavors to choose from, a bunch of different drinkware. Uh, thank you for listening to the podcast. It comes out every single Monday, Spotify, Apple, however you listen, video every single Tuesday, youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. Make sure to check out our Patreon as well. We do bonus episodes on there that are high episodes. Uh, you get early access to our episodes ad free. Uh, we have a Discord where you can hang out and chat with us. We post exclusive content on there as well. Different vlogs we'll throw up just behind yeah. the scenes. We do a, like he said, a 15 minute recording after we stop this episode. Uh, that's a, It's our, our Unwind with Unfiltered mm -hmm. uh, where we just literally shoot the shit and uh, we, we, talk, we talk about shit that shouldn't be on camera to the public. So 
Um, you get to enjoy it with us for the next 15 minutes after we're done here. So yeah, so check that out. Patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. All right, we'll see you next week. We love you guys. All right, bye. Ciao. Peace.